So today, we will store objects in an array. Let's check how we can do them. We have a people array, and inside this array, we added three objects with its property names and values. If you want to access Amy, for example, we can do people, and since Amy is in zero index, add zero and use dot notation to add name. This will then show Amy in the console. Now, to demonstrate, I will open the project which we had completed in our previous session when we learned about arrays. We use a multi-dimensional array to work on this quiz project. This works fine, but at first glance, it's not immediately clear what this piece of information mean. Another developer looking at this code might have to spend a little extra time to figure it out. One of the best part about using object is that they let you use distinct names to identify individual items. This makes objects more efficient to work than arrays. So let's convert this multi-dimensional arrays into arrays of objects. That way you can use property names to identify the data. The first, I will change this square bracket into curly braces to make them object. Then I will add a property name question and another property name answer for all of them. Now, we have objects inside an array rather than arrays inside an array. We need to make one more update before we check the preview. In this question variable, we had used an index number to get all the questions. Now, we can use dot notation to get all the questions. Likewise, we can use dot notation to get all the answers as well. If you check the preview, the quiz program works again. Great. This is the end of this session. In the next session, we will do the challenge. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions. Also, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel to get more videos in the future. Thank you and see you soon.